After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been in the jail now for about five and a half years, and I've been down in booking for almost five of those years. It's been kind of interesting to see the booking process and to see how it all goes. One of the things that I really like about booking is that everything's different and every night's really different. Don't run away, Bruce. Sit down, Bruce. I've known Bruce ever since I've uh, started working here. Bruce is one of our normal uh, drunks that comes in. He's probably been here well over 100 times. Indian guy, yeah. yeah the she... word on the street is he's dead. Yeah, that's what we thought, too. You doing better, Bruce? You're not looking so hot. Why not? Your skin's all flaking off. and Looks like you got a busted up nose. Looks like Bruce will be OK. We are on a shift where we get a lot of the new blood, and I've been able to see a lot of different officers move through here. This lady was brought in and had told the officers that she had dove up sides of her vagina. So we had to do a strip search, remove the product, hand it over to the officer. You can't go up the vagina, I'm on my period. So it's just up your panties? No, it's not up nothing. Okay. All right, we got another one when it's female, so hurry him along. Okay. They're in there right now doing a strip search on uh, the female that was just brought in because she said she had some uh, drugs on her. And once they come out, we'll see what she actually had on her and what she didn't have on her. Everything what she said? We have the product. All right. Just a little bit. Got a little bit of bud. For a small party. Yeah. Did you smoke marijuana today? Can you How often? Yeah. Every day. Have you ever tried to hurt yourself? Tried to hurt myself? Yes. Do you want to now? Okay, you can have a seat in the back row. Thank you. April, what did you get arrested for originally? Um, a warrant. A warrant? What for? Um, burglary and receiving stolen property. And I just happened to have some weed on me tonight, which wasn't very smart. No. How did you get in contact with the police tonight? My high beams. You had your high beams on? Yeah, I drive my high beams on every <laughs> night, and you guys don't <laughs> with me. I don't understand. Tonight. I'll just be happy when it's over, because this is only my second time ever being in jail. I hate it. I can understand why. You doing all right? All right. Bruce, are you seasoned? Bruce, wake up, man. Come here, sit up. You OK? Come on, Bruce. Let's get you in the chair. Hey, you OK? Bruce. What kind of medical history do you have? He's one of our typical detoxers. Detoxing? Bruce, you need to talk to me. Look at me. Stick out your tongue. He's responding. Here we go. All right, Bruce, stand up for just a second. We're going to get a chain on you. He's good. That's good right there, buddy. Just sit. One of the normal things that happens with alcoholics is that they go through seizures through their detox. Put your head behind your back right. like you just said. Sit back and relax for a minute, okay, Bruce? Cheers, sir. Spread your feet. Oh, that was messed up. Check it out. Every day? Your head. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Nothing, man. My... All right, man. All right. Unclench that fist. Are you done? Yeah. You done playing? Are you sure? Are you sure you're done playing? Yes. Positive. All right, we're going to get a chain on you. Don't move. Unclench your fist. You better do it now. All right, all right. All right, you're going to see the nurse, but you're going to go the long way around. We were dealing over there with Bruce for a minute, and uh, all of a sudden, this guy wasn't respecting authority. So we just wanted to make sure that he was going to listen to everything that we tell him to do. And he's going to do it the first time we tell him to do it. Open your mouth wide. Up your 
I'll bring yeah. it to you. Yeah, we'll bring it to you. Spark, pull up your lip, pull it down. All right, go ahead, put your shoes and socks back. You look concerned about something. What are you concerned about? I got more warrants out in Perump. You have more warrants in Perump? What warrants do you have? You don't know what they are? Something about my bank account. The non-sufficient fund checks, one for 1000 one for 200 they got your possession of your stolen property, and they got you on your small amount of marijuana you had for today. I don't know how I can get a warrant that was never arrested. You can get a warrant without being arrested. Have a seat in the first three rows up there someplace, and if your name call, raise your hand if you want any questions. And she'll, she'll probably be in this room for the next three to four hours before she gets back to a holding cell. Second row, second seat. Hey, Richard, how you doing, buddy? Good. Hey, uh, what was going on with you when you first came in, man? How come you weren't following some of the simple instructions of some of the officers because that were Because I was uh, uncomfortable with the way I was uh, treated initially. Uh, getting hit a couple of times. You know, it was a little That's bit much. From the officers on the street before correct, you came in. Correct, man. Inside. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Once you come in, it doesn't really matter what the officers on the street did to you. You just need to treat yeah, us correct, with respect. Yeah. Have you, did, we, did you do any drugs tonight or anything like no, that? I or done just any drugs. alcohol at all? No. Nothing? I had a beer or two. Beer or two? Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Richard. All right. I just want you to have a seat over here on the boy side for me now. All right. Thanks for your time. Attention in the facility. All personnel be advised. The code 99 is suspect. Bruce. A what? Oh, oh, yeah, he's he's what? He's on this side. Open your mouth. Bruce. Bruce. Open your mouth. Bruce. Open your mouth. Open your mouth, big guy. I don't like it. He never sees us when he comes in. Open your mouth, big guy. There you go, Bruce. All right, Bruce. Bruce, relax. Just relax, bud. You got tape and everything and an IV ready to go? Four by fours. Four by fours. You can open up the IV, guys. Still under arrest? Yeah, we're going to leave him in the belly chain. We're going to take him off the hospital if they need to. Daddy? Huh? He's homeless. He's lucky he was here when it happened. If he was out on the street when it happened, who knows if they would have found him in time. Yes. He was still incarcerated and he is still uh, one of our inmates. And if he's clear, he'll come back back tonight. So now it's time for us to go back in and get back to work. guys I like to connect with them whether it's a simple how you doing to hey what's going on today man what happened not everybody's a career criminal these guys make mistakes just like us if I do get across to someone it's made my day Crazy. how old are you James 69 be 70 August 14 70 if I move like that when I'm 70 I'll be happy he'll come in he'll be a regular and he'll just he'll dance you know and he'll just Keep everybody's spirits, you know, all calm and relaxed out there. Come on, Hesse, go ahead. No kidding. Bust the move. Golly, the twin, the mashed potatoes. You do all that? The twist stuff. Oh, sure. Those dances too. How's that go? The twist? Yeah. Woo! Oh. You're smoking. You're on fire, man. You should try out for that show. I bet you could dance. You look at tomorrow. Time right there for me, man. All right, this time I hope we can change this with me, Patrick. Time served, right? When'd you get out? 20 days. I got out June 1st. I was rest you got out yesterday? June 13th, Sunday, 20 days on the nose, trespassing. Now, opening 10, I actually got time served on this one, right? Well, I can do more time like this to this 20 days. About 20 years. They got a fingerprint, you okay? He's a homeless person outside in the streets. He's probably invisible to all these people. He comes in here and, you know, there's, there's a connection with the deputies. And, you know, we, in a sense, try to take care of this guy when he comes in. That's it, brother. Hey, this is, you know, James. This guy's been arrested well over 120 times. I'm pretty sure he spends more time with us than he does with anybody else. And it's just a sad case. You see this guy constantly, constantly getting, getting arrested. 
He's got skin cancer, and it's a shame. And if he's out there in the streets, you know, no one, no one's gonna care for him. No one's gonna look after him. Sometimes, you know, these guys come in here looking for a place to make him feel safe. Come on, stand up. Frank, stand up. Crash in a drunk to stand up. <laughs> All right, what I want you to do is take a deep breath, put your mouth around the mouthpiece and blow hard for 10 seconds. Look at that. What result? Airplane. Zero airplane. point zero. Get me out of these cuffs and right, let me right. go. Because you are wrong. All right, ready? Come on, give me another sample, Frank. Come on, take a deep breath and blow. Keep it up, keep it up. Second samples is two six out. What are you trying to make me drunk? <laughs> no, Frank, I think you're well enough drunk as it is. No, I don't, because it's like your 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 machine is not showing that. <laughs> Actually, Frank, you're right. The machine's not showing you're drunk, the machine's showing you're absolutely plastered tonight. Okay, you're three times the legal limit in the state of Florida. That's what? not drunk, that's plastered. Frank seems to be a happy drunk, although he's out there desperately trying to go ahead and uh, reach family member or friend, come and bond him out. You know, this is his second DUI. You know, I'm pretty sure a happy drunk doesn't mean a happy person. working with the sheriff's office starting in the search and rescue unit for 21 years and then coming into here you're a lot more controlled you know who your bad guys are who they aren't it's just a whole different atmosphere step right off there we're about pipe man i told you i ain't got no pipe you tried you tried to slam me on the sidewalk you did fam you tried to slam me down because i ain't had no pipe in my pocket you gonna get mad because no, I ain't got no pipe. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have pipes, man. Don't get mad at me because I'm no. not I arrested crack. you for gambling in the bus stop. Okay? With who? Gambling with who? That young man. That well, why are you arrested? We were gambling. How can I gamble by myself? That's, that's, that's true. That's a good point. How can I gamble so by myself? Asking. So why didn't he get arrested? Well, because he's not excluded from the drug free zone. But he was gambling. You're not supposed to be downtown, period. We were, we were, what, what do what? You're under arrest for violation of a drug free zone and trespassing. You're doing things in the drug-free zone that you're not allowed to do. If you're going to and from, that's one thing. But if you're hanging out gambling, that's a whole other deal. You see what I'm saying? No, I'll see what you're saying. I'm up $7,550, you walk out tonight. Other than that, you go to court. The city of Portland has paid the county for 57 beds, and we keep those beds available to them at all times. Basically, they can bail out or they have to go to court. 
So um, they wind up having to most times stay the night with us, okay. Old Bailey. Step right up to the counter here. Right here, right here, right here. What you got? Oh. Doing? Yeah, they're doing. Hand on the counter. Okay, take your jacket off. Place it on the counter. Take your shoes off, place them on the counter. I'm not taking my socks off. I don't want you to take your socks <laughs> off. I've smelled worse though, trust me. It's right here. Go ahead and take your watch off, place it on the counter. Do you have any other jewelry on? Nope. No piercings in there. Uh, no nope. special blame. One tattoo and that's it. Oh, what's it about? It's a uh, sheriff's badge, sorry. Oh, damn. Yeah, I know. Do you want to see it? Are you serious? Sheriff's badge? <laughs> sure enough, it is. <laughs> That's rocks, all right. All right, one day we got a little uh, drunk at work <laughs> and uh, went and got a couple oh. tattoos and I got the uh, sheriff man. There you go. Nickname the sheriff now. Yeah. All right, huh. sheriff, go and grab your tennis shoes, grab your jacket, have a seat over here in the chair. All right. But just listen for your name to be called. Right. He uh, was driving under the influence of intoxicants tonight. He has a great sense of humor about the whole thing, even though it's going to be a pretty harsh course for him. We'll get him out of here in a couple hours, and hopefully he doesn't do it again. No, they got a rowdy out here. Uh, is it a girl? No, it's a guy. Okay, can we uh, take him off your hands? Hold that door. Stand on it. I will not spit on your facility floor. Yeah, I wouldn't do not. that. Didn't you do that last time you were here? I think we think we had that happen last time you were here. Right here. Just lean right up against you. You're you don't look like you're having a good day today. Uh, I see hey. you're taking a little mess. Ah, like a lot of mess, huh? I haven't huh? had mess in my system at all. It's not really. What, what are you on? Yeah, I don't what you... know what the is going on. What do you got? All I know is I need to put my hands on this table if you guys let me go. What's this? It's a Moot Hunt 107.5. Oh, When's the last time you used? Sick or injured? You <laughs> mean leave him alone? <laughs> one more. This is it. Yeah, let's take this one. Take too. the red one too. Leave him alone, off. Leave him alone, this thing. Girl did not mean to leave me alone. I was not never that meant to let the way go. Who are you talking to? Come on, run around. Hang loose. That's scary. He's way messed up. He usually turns out to be a halfway decent individual when he's when he's clean and sober, but he's he's been using for a long time. He can't seem to get off the stuff. What brought him to your attention? They say I was driving down Burnside and looked in my rearview mirror and just saw him tackle somebody. Got him at taser point, still being semi-combative, verbally abusive, and uh, ended up tasering him. Upon talking to all the witnesses, he was there for a little while, just yelling at people, just causing a disturbance and which basically led up to him assaulting a couple of people. This is a, this is typical reaction to the guy in meth. He's, he's not really following you. He doesn't know who you are, he doesn't know what you're doing. He's not functioning real well. I'm actually surprised that he's focusing at all. You're not going anywhere, I'm not, you're absolutely right. I got a job to do right here. You're right. Can I Where are you going? Freedom. When? Huh? When? Huh? When are you going there? Where did you clean your teeth? I've seen you all cleaned up. What are you doing using again? I don't know what you're doing with that red pink cat. It's for taking bad notes. We're just going to leave you in there for a while until you come down a little bit, okay? He's very, very high on methamphetamines, and uh, it's going to take him quite a while to uh, detox and come down. So he's going to, at some point this evening, crash really hard and sleep for a very long time. 
and then he'll be a halfway decent human being. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside, and they hand me my clothes, and the key to my ride. Now the light hits my face, and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my head. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel, and my fingers grow tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up out of this. Give me out, just give me out. Open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up out of this. Give me out, just give me out.